You know what drives great performance of your employees or applicants, or how you can manage talents in the workplace or improve their efficiency and performance. Research shows people will be most effective and successful if they can work from their talents, their core, the most dominant part of the personality. Then they will be engaged and will need less motivation. Did you ever try to change the behaviour of your co-workers? Well, the role of you as a manager or coach is not to change the personality, but to select the best people for the job. A person's inner core is going to stay the same, nevertheless. So, in times of stress, they will always go back to their natural behaviour. Of course, this does not mean people can't learn new skills, but do not believe the myth that people will grow the most in their weakest areas. Fact is, people will grow the most in their natural areas, their talents. If you know this, you only have to find out what their talents are. Difficult? No. Just follow these three basic principles. One. Create clear expectations. Be very clear about what you expect from your candidate. What you need is a clear picture of effective behaviour for your vacancy. What exact behaviour makes an employee more or less successful in your organisation? The second principle is to unveil the talents of your employees or applicants. Your interview is crucial. This means during your interview, you need to find the specific talents and drives of your candidate. Just ask the right questions, like A. What can he do? You will learn a lot by asking what his skills, abilities, and areas of strength are. B. What does he want? Ask questions like What type of person is he? His talents, drives, and interests. What does he want to accomplish in life? Asking these questions seems simple, but how to get the real answers to these questions? Use the TMA performance matrix. Here, you can easily place the competencies of the candidate in any of the four quadrants. It helps you to decide on how to approach the candidate most effectively, where to control risks, avoid pitfalls, and invest and use his competencies and talents. You know now how to hire and how to coach him. Let him work on his strength for the best results. And this leads us to the third principle of great talent management. You have to match talents and competencies of the employee or applicant with your behavioural expectations, because now you know what specific behaviour and competencies you expect for your job. Just remember the first principle: create clear behavioural expectations, and you know what you can expect from the candidate. And then the second principle: unveil their talents. You can.